Welcome back. We certainly don't know when disasters will happen from the earthquake into Japan to flooding here in central Ohio, but there are steps you need to take now for your pets in case of an emergency. Dr. Nikki Eaton is a veterinarian for the Animal Hospital of Polaris. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having and me. Who, who is this, Eddie? This Let me show Eddie. you. If you pet Eddie, he, he gets a real big smile on his yes, face. Yes, he does. There, there's that smile. Yes, there you go. You're a good boy. Okay, so we're talking about uh, severe weather and pets. Um, you need to have a plan in place. Yes, yeah, you do. Just like when uh, we have a plan for our family, mm -hmm. it's important to count those pets into that plan too. So whether it's flooding or a fire or a tornado, everybody has their family plan. Make sure you have that plan in place with your pets. Okay, and why is it that sometimes we forget our pets? I mean, we bring our pets everywhere we go, but then when it comes to severe weather, sometimes that's the last thing we think of. I think that's because we don't we're not prepared for it. I think that's why it's like if you're in the middle of the tornado sirens going on and you're thinking, okay, I know what to do with the family. And then all of a sudden you're thinking, wow, I never thought what I needed to do with the pets. So I just want people to be very aware that they need to have the plan with their family and their pets. Okay. What, uh, what are the times that, you know, you, you can't take your pets with you during an evacuation? So what I always tell people is this is the time um, to go out and find um, different shelters that mm -hmm. do allow pets. So I encourage everybody to call the Red Cross and say, in case of an emergency or a disaster, what shelters do accept pets? And they should have a list of shelters that do accept pets. Okay, and then when you're talking about, um, you know, packing a bag for yourself, you're yes. talking about batteries, you're talking about water, maybe some food. What needs to be in the bag for pets? Probably the same types of things. Some of right? the same things, but if your uh, pet is on a chronic prescription, so mm. they're getting medication every day, make sure that you have an extra refill of that in the bag. Most veterinarians will not have a problem with saying, okay, I'll go ahead and give that. I always tell people, canned food, it stays longer than dry food. Mm -hmm. um, water, bowls, blankets, anything like that that you need to put in that bag. Okay, now let's single out cats. Uh, if you have a cat owner, what is there, what do you need to do uh, especially for cats that you maybe don't have to I'll do, do with, with dogs. dogs. Yeah. So what I would recommend is that everybody get the cat used to going in that cage or that carrier that you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the time to do it because in the if you have a disaster going on, a tornado, a fire, that's not the time to be saying okay to the cat. You know, you really need to get in this cage. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the time to be training them, have the cage out, feed them in there, put treats in there. So in case there is some sort of emergency, you know that you can pick that cat up, you know where the cr carrier is, the cages, and you can put them right in there and you're not fighting with them. Because seconds and minutes are so, so important when you have a disaster going on. Okay, lastly, uh, thunderstorms can get very loud. I mean, uh, thunder can rattle the windows. It, it can obviously be kind of traumatic for the kids. Uh, and then the dog starts barking and that kind of adds to it. How can we keep the dogs and the animals calm during that situation? Um, there is, there are a lot of dogs that suffer from thunderstorm phobia. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of times talking to your veterinarian, there are behavior modifications that mm -hmm. you can do so that your dog isn't afraid of those noises. Okay, really quickly, uh, what is the sticker that can be life-saving for pets? Oh, the sticker is, it's really easy. You can get them at pet stores, veterinarians, and it says, firemen, please save. And then you write on there how many cats how many dogs you have or if you have ferrets or anything else you put that you put that on your sticker on your front window firemen know to look for it okay perfect nikki eden thank you so much let's toss thank it you. over to lisa which you're tracking some possible severe weather that's coming in this